Yeah, and part of the evidence that we're going to see next is how complex the animals that were found in the Burgess Shale, how actually complex they were. I want you folks to watch. These fossils gave science its first detailed look at the biology of the Cambrian seas. With computer animation, we can now bring that world to life. Like something out of science fiction, Opabenia was a creature so bizarre it still eludes classification. While its five eyes watched for predators, the animal captured its prey with a grasping claw. First described in 1899 from a fossil found on Mount Stephen, Wewaxia has also puzzled scientists. This mysterious Cambrian animal is covered with overlapping scales and may have fed by scraping microscopic particles off the seafloor. The animal most frequently discovered at Walcott's quarry was Morella. More than 15,000 fossil specimens of this prehistoric crab have been excavated most revealing multiple pairs of jointed legs and feather-like gill branches used for swimming. The anatomy of Hallucigenia has baffled paleontologists since Walcott first discovered its fossilized remains. Two rows of sharp spines on its back and more than a dozen needle-thin legs gave the animal the appearance of being upside down even when it was right side up. At the top of the food chain was Anomalocaris, the undisputed terror of the Cambrian seas. Measuring up to three feet long, this super predator used barbed feeding arms to capture both hard and soft-bodied animals. It then devoured its prey with layers of razor-sharp teeth. Between 1910 and 1924, Charles Walcott collected more than 60,000 Cambrian fossils many of which are still studied in museums and research centers around the world. But the treasures of the Burgess Shale represent more than a wealth of information about ancient life. They are also flashpoints in a controversy that began long before the great geologist ever set foot in the Canadian Rockies.